Keep it short and simple. Tech chip, tech headset. Tech user. Tech fancy. Tantalizing. But only for a while. For here are some tech realities. Addiction. Criminal penalties. Neural damage. Death. Simple enough. I'm William Shatner, sometimes known as Walter Bascom, in a future I created called Tech War. Welcome to Capstone, and prepare to witness the technology of the future today in Tech War, the game of CD-ROM. I suppose you're wondering why you're here. It's simple. You're the best. At least I think you are. You've already figured out that if this weren't important, you'd still be in cryosleep, so I'm not going to waste your time, or more importantly, mine. Last month, Miyoshi Nakahara and her family disappeared while sailing a 40-foot wind cruiser around the world and are believed lost. A week later, Nikolai Petrovsky suddenly left his lab and has not been seen or heard from since. It's occurred to me that the disappearances were no accident. Oh, in case you miss the relevance, Nakahara is a Nobel Prize winning cyberneticist whose forte is the Matrix. And Petrovsky is a noted cyberbiologist who's an expert in tech addiction. The connection, if there is one, could be the worst thing to hit this city since the quake of 22. 
If the tech lords have developed a way to broadcast tech using the matrix, addiction would be universal. I don't intend to let that happen. That's where you come in. Find out if there's a connection and eliminate the threat. Do a good job, and I think I can get you released permanently. Screw up, you're back on ice. One of my operatives reported seeing Miles Connor down in the free zone. What a big-time operator like him is doing down there could be worth the trouble of finding out. Remember to keep your cool out there, or I'll have you put back on ice. With Connor down, we're one step closer to figuring out what's going on. Not only did you take him down, but you managed to do it without too much bloodshed. Well, what are you waiting for, a medal? With Connor out of the picture, we have a better idea of what's going on. But you have got to watch that itchy trigger finger of yours. If you keep getting people killed, it's back to the deep freeze for you. I ought to send you back right now. Any rookie could have brought in Connor. You didn't hurt any civilians, but you didn't make any arrests either. I can get those same results just sitting in my office. Bring me Connor, or you'll be an ice cube by morning. I don't know what to do with you. Letting Connor get away is bad enough, but getting innocent people killed is intolerable. I warned you about this. How do you expect me to justify your freedom if you keep putting both feet in it? Dallas DeMarco is a small-time tech lord operating uptown somewhere near the hospital. He may know something about what's going on. See if you can shed any light on the situation. He's worth more alive than dead, so don't get too trigger-happy. Oh, by the way, keep in touch. Well, it looks like I was right about thawing you out. You got DeMarco, you managed to keep yourself from getting killed, and you kept the civilians out of the action as well. Don't get cocky. You may have taken down DeMarco, but you also got a lot of innocent civilians hurt in the process. You know the ones you're supposed to protect? I can't keep the law off your back if this happens again. What can I say? You blew it. If the need weren't so great, I'd have you on the next flight back to the freezer. But at least you didn't get any civilians killed. Now get out there and do it right. Keep screwing up like that, and I can guarantee you a trip back to the freezer. Can't you figure out that if you kill his goons, DeMarco's reinforcements will be even tougher? Keep the carnage to a minimum, or better yet, none at all. Quick, I'm uptown, and I just saw Marty Dollar. Get down here and help me bring him in. You start near Midtown and work your way through the area. With Marty Dollar out of the way, we're one step closer to solving this whole case. And you even managed to bring him in without getting anyone killed. Keep this up, and I may be able to keep you out of the freezer. Marty Dollar is out of the way, but couldn't you have been more careful? The body count keeps rising, and it's harder and harder to justify it. We're not the killers. They are. Try to remember that. What is it with you? Do you want to end up back in the icebox? So what if nobody got killed? If you're not bringing in the bad guys, you may as well be staking out the donut shop. You have to do better than this to justify my faith in you. Not getting anyone killed is good, but it's not good enough. You have to bring in the bad guys, too. You blew it. Marty Dollar is still on the loose. The death toll is rising. I've got half of City Hall clamoring to send you back to cryo, and I'm half tempted to do it. Now get back out there and get me results. I just received a report that a security guard at the Megacorp dockyard just spotted Janus and a bunch of his goons going into a warehouse in the area. If he gets to his yacht, we'll never collar him. Get a move on, and maybe you can catch him before he goes underground again. With Janus out of the picture, I can justify my decision to keep you thawed out. And as I sing on the cake, nobody was hurt. But don't plan on any vacations yet. We still haven't solved this case. I'm not happy with your methods, but at least you got results. Janus is out of commission, and we have a better idea of what's going on. But don't be surprised if that trail of bodies you're leaving doesn't lead you right back to the freezer. So, Janus got the better of you. You knew he was smart, or we'd have caught him a long time ago. At least you didn't add more innocent lives to your tab. This isn't some kind of game. People are dying out there. Do I need to remind you your body temperature is riding on this? Not only did you let Janus get away, but you left behind enough carnage to fill a cemetery. Don't you get it? The more of them you kill, the more Janus will want you dead. 
A police cruiser just reported Conrad Lowell on the streets at Midtown, and the officer's vid phone just went dead. Tech dealing and cop killing is a bad mix. Get down there and show Lowell why. Well, it looks like you're getting the hang of it. You managed to bring in Conrad Lowell and keep the obituary writers at the water cooler. Now is not the time to rest on your laurels. Get moving. Bringing in Conrad Lowell was great, but unless you want to join him, you can't keep leaving a trail of bodies behind. You need to watch where you shoot. I can't keep the cops from throwing you back in the freezer if you keep screwing up and getting innocent bystanders killed. Be more careful out there. What's it going to take? Conrad Lowell is still free and you're sitting around with no clue what to do next. Why don't you go after somebody you can handle? I saw a jaywalker down the block I think you may be able to catch. Conrad Lowell is still on the loose. The morgue is filling up and I've got a dozen reporters determined to write a story about my rogue agent. You better bring Lowell in soon and get some of this heat off me or I'll cool off by putting you back on ice. Hold my calls. Nika analyzed the data on the chip we recovered, and it looks like I was right. The disk held various invoices for electronic and laboratory hardware. They must be trying to link tech to the matrix. It's not much to go on, but then we don't have much time, so it'll have to do. I want you to take down Carlisle Rossi's operation. He conducts business from somewhere near People's Park. Try to bring him back for questioning. If the tech lords think he's selling them out, it might buy us some time. Okay, Rossi won't be pushing his trash around here anymore, but we're not done by a long shot. Something even bigger is going down. We need to find that broadcast node. But what are you waiting for? We don't have time to waste. Don't be so proud of yourself. Sure, you brought down Rossi, but you made the People's Park sector look like a war zone. Next time, use better judgment if and when you apply lethal force. I don't believe it. Rossi should be taking a long nap, and you should be out celebrating. Instead, Rossi's out celebrating, and I'm trying to explain why you shouldn't be going back to the ice tray. You should have had him, and you let him get away. About the only thing you got right was not getting anybody killed. Well, at least the press won't be hounding me for you being trigger happy. What do you think you're doing? Not only did you let him get away, but you needlessly got people killed. How do you expect me to keep you out of the freezer if you run around blasting everything in sight? Do it right, or it's back to the cryo for you, and I can guarantee a little additional time to cool your gun hand. I sent one of my operatives down to check out the industrial area, and I can't make contact with her. Her disappearance has Sonny Okori written all over it. Take him down. Hard if you have to, but take him down. Ashes is all that's left of Sonny Hokari's operation, and of him as well. I understand it couldn't be avoided. At least he was the only casualty. Still, let's wrap this mess up quickly. I've got a bad feeling about this. You may have gotten Sonny off the streets, but did you have to take half of L.A. with him? Far be it for me to judge my fellow man, but the last time I checked, killing was a bad thing. This may be war, but the ends still don't justify the means. I don't like having to wash the blood of innocence off my hands. Don't make me do it again. Don't blame Sonny's escape on yourself. Let me do that. We all sleep better knowing no one died during your exercise in futility. Unfortunately, among those well-rested people is Sonny Ukari. Bring him in. Not only did you let Sonny get away, you left a swath of blood behind that looks like the Colorado River. If I could send you back to cryo right now, I would. But unfortunately, you're still my best option. The next time I see you, I want to see Sonny Okari in cuffs right beside you. So far, you've been lucky and you've taken down all the tech lords, but nothing counts if the Tech Matrix broadcast node goes online. Nika has analyzed the information you brought back and has narrowed the search area down to the free zone. They've put up a security block in cyberspace that almost killed her. If Nika had this much trouble getting through, they must have some of the finest cyber jocks on the net working for them. If that broadcast unit goes online, hundreds of thousands of lives will be affected, and all that we've worked for will be lost. Find it and destroy it. <laughs> I knew you were right for the job. We've made a pretty good team. We've checked the spread of tech, at least temporarily, and put a lot of tech lords out of action. But for everyone we put away, there are at least 10 ready to take their place. Putting the tech matrix broadcast node out of action before it came online 
save this city from the greatest organized threat since that nuclear bomb scare by the anti-technology terrorists back in the 90s. We don't have time to relax, though. There are still lots of other tech lords throughout the world that need to be put away, and we're the ones to do it. By the way, I've convinced the parole officials to let you stay out of the freezer as long as you continue to work for me. Maybe you can clear your name after all. How about it? Do we have a deal? <laughs>